All right, so today I'm gonna be demoing some eyebrow pomades and kind of tell you the difference between them. I have three. Um, the first one that I'll be demoing is this one from Root Pretty. It's in deep brown. Go brow in Liz and Hint in Espresso. So these are basically the three that I kind of rotate and use. So these three, I'll show you what they look like, and I'm actually wearing Eco Brow on this side and Hint on this side. And I will show you what they look like, um, try to do a side-by-side -side comparison, and I'll also show you kind of textures and what is the big difference between them. Uh, really quick at a glance, the Root Pretty is $12. The Eco Brow, I believe, is 27 or 28, and then the Hint Beauty is 22.50. So let's get into the textures and kind of show you what they look like, and then that way you can kind of help, you can kind of decide on what you like, and I'll kind of give you my opinion too, and then we'll jump into the demo. All right, so I'm going to show you guys basically kind of like the different consistencies of the three products and ooh, before I start you definitely need a tool that has a spoolie at the end of it this makes dispersing the product so much easier I used to use this which didn't really work that well but it did do the job but it's just not quite the same and good as the spoolie this boy is amazing. It just, I can't believe I didn't get one in the first place. All right, now let's go into the products. First off, here is the Root Pretty. This is the Root Pretty one. It is in the color, I believe, deep brown. And if you can kind of see, it's a little shinier. Um, the consistency is a bit thicker and it's a bit stickier, so a little tackier. Um, it doesn't feather in quite as well, but I'm going to show you a swatch of what this looks like. It definitely has some reddish tones in it, um, in my opinion. They actually all three do. Um, it's more on the brown side, uh, so I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. As you can see, it's a little sticky, it's a little bit tackier. The base is a castor oil, which is probably why. But as you can see, the product moves, comes out pretty well and it's quite dense. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the what it looks like. It's a little bit more shiny as you can see. It's a little stickier. Um, and show you how kind of blended it looks on the end. So that's kind of what it would look like kind of feathered out. So this one is probably the least reddish tone, uh, reddish brown tone. It's a little bit more on the cool side, which is really nice. Next, I'm going to show you the Eco Brow. Now this one feathers in really nice. It's super smooth. I don't know if you can see this, but it is a lot smoother than the Root Pretty one. But it, is, it does have dimethicone in it, um, and it also has silica, which makes it super smooth. So I'll put this one. So if you can see, this one is pretty dark, doesn't quite have too many reddish tones, but in my opinion, it is a little bit more on the warmer side. And as you can see, the comparison between these two, that this one is a bit shinier, um, just because it has that stickier consistency, and this one is a bit more matte. Um, but when it's in, on your eyebrows, it is about the same. You can't really tell the difference 
in the shininess or matteness. But this product is just a lot more smoother. And we'll just kind of do that to give you an idea. In the end, I'm going to do this again and you'll get an idea of how it will kind of spread. Next, we have the Hint Beauty product. So this is, as you can see, if, I don't know if you can, this one is the most dry. Both of these are a bit more, um, have a little bit more moisture to it. And um, this one is kind of dry, a little bit more powdery. And it might take a little bit more effort to get it kind of warmed up. I think that is enough to get an idea. So here, here, here. So when you look at these three, this one is the most brown, if you can see. So this one is definitely the warmest. I personally like cooler tones. Um, I think it just fits my eyebrows a little bit better. Um, and plus I have more sparse eyebrows, so I like the cooler tones because I think it fills it in a little bit better for me. Um, out of the three, as you can see, this one is more powdery um, and it's a bit more brown. I personally, I personally prefer the Hint Beauty, um, just because I have sparser eyebrows, I want something a little bit lighter, um, even though I do prefer cool tones. And if I want to go for more definition, I'll go with one of these. Um, but I definitely like the Hint Beauty for daily use. So this is kind of what it looks like. There you go. And now I'll do a little bit more of a smudge just so that we can get an idea of how it would look with the brush. So that's how that would kind of feather in. That one's a little bit darker. And then this one is going to be very intense because it's a little tackier. So very dark. These are kind of similar, but this one is a little bit darker because of the stickier consistency. But the one thing I like about the Root Pretty is that it's all natural and it's only $12. So if you have thicker eyebrows and you wanna have that really thick look, this actually will work pretty well for that. Um, and if you have maybe sparser eyebrows, you might wanna go with this. But again, that's just my opinion. You guys can kind of figure out what you would like in an eyebrow. So again, this is the three of them. Root Pretty, Eco Brow, Hint Beauty. Again, this is the three. Again, warmest tone, and then these two are a bit cooler, a little bit more of the dark brown. All right, next I'm going to show you a demo of what it will look like on your eyebrows. So let's get to that. So the first one I'm gonna demo is the Root Pretty. This one is in deep brown. This is a bit thicker of a formula. I'll show you what it looks like. And this bully really helps disperse the product around. Right. Then I'm going to demo Eco Brow on this side. So I'm going to demo Eco Brow on the left side. And you really don't need that much product, you just need very, very little. Like I said, it has a smoother texture. There we go. 
but when you look at my eyebrows, they look almost identical. For this next part of the demo, I'm going to take off the side um, and compare it with the Hint Beauty that I have. Okay, as you see, I have taken off the Root Pretty one, and now I just have the Eco Brow one. So now, so now I'm going to demo the Hint Beauty. And this one is also all natural, doesn't really have any synthetic ingredients in it. Um, and this one feathers really well too. And it's a bit lighter than the, than the other two. It's not as dense. All right, so take a look. This one, they look pretty close, but you notice that this one has is a bit darker and it's filled in more. And then this one is a bit lighter and a little bit more natural in my opinion, even though this eyebrow actually looks much, much better today. Um, I do use this one, the Hint Beauty more, but also this, uh, right eyebrow is probably my problem eyebrow. So I go, I'll go ahead and try to fill it in a little better. All right, so that's how this looks. And this is how the eco brow looks. With the Hint Beauty. All right, so that's the video. And I'll just kind of go over again what I think about everything. So the Root Pretty one is a really good deal. It's cheap, it's $12, it's easy to use, it's all natural. It's just a little bit on the thicker side, but in terms of performance, it works really well, just like the other two. The Eco Brow, which I really love, it's a bit more on the expensive side, um, I believe it's $27 or $28, and it works very, very well. However, it is mainly synthetic, and it has dimethicone in it, um, but it works really well, and I like to use this if I want to give a little bit more definition to my eyebrows. And on a daily basis, I like to use the Hint Beauty because I believe it gives a little bit more of a natural look for me. It, fe it feathers in very well, and it gives my eyebrows just the perfect definition I need for a daily base. Overall, all three work really well for me. They stay all day. I've had no problems with them bleeding or melting or anything like that. And again, these two are mainly natural ingredients and this one has synthetic components to it, but it works really, really well. And I can see why so many people like it. All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.